Hello everyone and welcome to another Transformers review with me, Exim Ferris. And I am so excited today. I I I can't believe it's finally here. We've 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 gone from um Siege all through Earthrise and we're finally in the third part of the Transformers War for Cybertron trilogy and we have arrived at Kingdom and I am ecstatic because we've got Beast Wars figures! <laughs> I can't believe it! I, I am so thrilled that we've finally got new Beast Wars figures after all this time. He turned up today. I haven't taken him out of the box, although I really wanted to. But I wanted to get this review out to people as soon as possible. And I, I really hope that, that you're like me and that you you will enjoy these Beast Wars figures. i I got to take a breath. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so excited. Um, so, yeah, so we're kicking it off with Optimus Primal. Now, I have pre-ordered all of the Beast Wars figures so I will be bringing them to you as soon as I get them in I'll be recording reviews getting them up to Simon and he'll be getting them on the channel as soon as possible so if you are interested in any more of these Beast Wars Kingdom reviews then please stay tuned to Fingers on Plastic because I will be bringing them to you as soon as I get them in the next one, I think, is Megatron. I was kind of hoping that he was going to come along with Optimus Primal, but sadly, he's not out yet. But anyway, let's focus on uh, on this amazing figure. Uh, and as always, let's start off with the box. I'm kind of ambivalent with the box. I love the artwork. If you've seen any of my other reviews, you'll know that I've been thrilled with the artwork that that's been on the boxes all the way through this trilogy and um and this box does not disappoint you've got an amazing picture of primal in his gorilla mode and then on this side a beautiful piece of artwork of him in his uh, robot mode and the texturing on the fur is sublime it's it's an amazing piece of artwork. I, I love it. The reason I'm ambivalent about the box is as much as I love the artwork, and I truly do, you can only see this amount of the figure. Now, I'm not a mint in box collector, so it doesn't bother me too much, but I rather think that a lot of mint in box collectors are going to be a little bit disappointed by this very tiny window here. Um, it also does pose a slight challenge to those of us who do remove them from the boxes because if you're buying these in shops, you'll know that you know you want to have a good look at the figure. You want to make sure that you've got a, a good figure with good paint apps, that there's no blemishes or you know burrs or anything on the figure itself. But with this, sadly, because you can only see this this tiny amount here, it does make it slightly difficult. Um, now, like I said, I pre-ordered all of these online, so for me, that's not a massive issue. I'll get what I get. Um, but yeah, it would if I was picking these up in stores, that would make life a little bit difficult. But that aside, the rest of the box is gorgeous. I will definitely be keeping this artwork. So that's it for the side and the front. And then we move around to this side. And oh my goodness. <clears throat> Galvatron. That's Galvatron. So, are we getting Galvatron? I really hope so. I was saying to the to the guys the other day, I really hope we get a Galvatron in this line. And if past box art is anything to go on, Galvatron. I also noticed some other really interesting figures on the side of this box. I've just had a look. Um, so obviously there's Unicron up here. We we know this was a Hasbro Pulse exclusive thingy. I'm not getting one of these because it was just too expensive. We've got Megatron up here. We knew he was coming. Black Arachnia again. We knew. Uh, there's there's a picture of Megatron here, so I'm not quite sure. To sort of split Galvatron Megatron's face there. I'm not quite sure if this means we're getting another repaint. Um, of this Megatron, the, the Siege 
slash Earthrise Megatron. I didn't get the Earthrise one because it's practically identical to the first one, so I, I didn't really see the point in buying another one. But let's see what happens. Maybe we'll get something interesting. Uh, and then we have Scorponok. Yes, please. I will absolutely buy a Scorponok. Dinobot we knew we were getting, but over here, Rhinox. We've not long had a Rhinox, and he was pretty epic. But another one, a more updated one, I'm all for that. And then we've got the Ark. We knew we were getting the Ark. Uh, and then um, another Prime, obviously. Air Razor we're getting, we know that. Uh, Cheetor and Rat Trap, and obviously Primal. But then over this side, there's Bumblebee again. So will we be getting another release of Bumblebee? Possibly. RC again, I think I think we know that she's already coming. I think I've seen inbox vid uh, pictures of RC in the New Kingdom packaging. But this, this is what really makes me excited. Tigatron. I I actually have the, uh, the Takara version of the original Tigatron. Um, and it's it's a decent figure. It's an okay figure, but it's just a, a repaint of Cheetor. But a, a bigger scale than Cheetor, please. <laughs> a bigger scale. Um, Tigertron. Yes, please. Because I skipped the, the Masterpiece one because I just thought it was too expensive. But I would absolutely buy a mainline Tigertron. Hands down. As soon as it comes out for pre-order, I'm buying it. So that's some interesting stuff on this side of the box. I'm sorry I've waffled on a bit. Usually these are quite quick, these uh, intro pieces. But I, I really had to run through everything that was on the side of this box. Here. And obviously you've got the Nemesis up here as well. So I do wonder if they're going to do some sort of Titan thing with the Nemesis, maybe. Because we got two Titans this year. So maybe. I don't know. Possibly. We'll see. But yeah, I mean, again, the artwork is gorgeous. It always is, and I'm, I, I love that Black Arachnia is is so front and center as well. That's nice to see. Right, so that's that side of the box. Um, on the back, you've got your product shots, and he does look rather wonderful, doesn't he? I hope he looks this good when I've got him out of the box. And there's a usual bump on the bottom there. Um, on the top, we've got the. Uh, maximal logo so yay and then on the bottom it's the it's the usual bump for the mornings and what have you so that is it for the for the box um like i said i'm slightly ambivalent about it artwork gorgeous tiny window eh, not so great but i think that will do it for the box uh, and uh, I will crack him open, have a little play with him, and then I'll be back with a, a full review of the figure. So stay tuned for that. Right, so I've just taken Primal out of his outer box. And I, I don't usually cover the insides of the boxes to this degree. But, yeah, there's so much in here. Um, you've obviously, you've got a shout out here to the original Autobots. Um, and... This is a golden disc, but what's really exciting and what I didn't expect was this hologram of Dinobot. Now, I'm assuming this is a collector's card, so I will get it out in a minute, but I just wanted to show the what they're doing here. I, I can't believe it. They've just put a little shiny Dinobot, I don't know, card or sticker or something in it. I love it. Hasbro, I love it already. I really do. All right, okay, that's that's it. I just wanted to show that quickly. So I'll, I'll be back in a sec with proper review, but I really just wanted to point that out. Right, so here's Primal out of his box. And for the most part, I'm still really happy with him. I do have a couple of minor nitpicks, but it's, yeah, it's not too bad. So as always, let's have a look what he comes with. Um, he does come with his instructions. And... So this time they are in green and grey so yeah quite nice uh, he comes with this amazing card I love this so much uh, this one is Dinobot 
I, I did also get Cyclonus, um, and I'll be covering the transformation for that. Uh, that'll be my next one up. And um, Cy Cyclonus came with um, Black Arachnia for me, but apparently Simon's one came with Optimus Prime. So it looks like they're randomly packing these cards. So I hope I get all the ones I want. I'm going to be miffed if I end up with 10 Dino Bots and, um, and no Cheetor. But we'll see. Now, Simon did say that this is a sticker and that you can peel it off and there's some information underneath. Oh, okay. Ooh, I wasn't going to do this, but it looks like it's going to come off pretty easily. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that is really nice. That's Dinobot's alt mode. And you can see Black Arachnia, Scorponok, Airazor and Cheetor also on there. And there's some Cybertronian writing at the bottom. I've not peeled this all the way off because I want to be able to pop it back on. But that is really nice. Hmm. Yeah. All right, there you go. So that's what that is. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Nobody knows. Doesn't look like I've touched it at all. And he comes with his two swords. And they are just done in a silver and blue. I think it's blue and then it's got a, a silver paint on the actual blades. But they're quite nice. Let me get them in so there's not too much glare on them. Does not want to focus. There we go. And you can store these. They go on the back. If you can see here, there's a little notch there. And there's a, there's a tab on either side of the sword. So you can just plug that in like so. And you can do that with both swords. One on either side. Like so like so there we go so they just hold on the back and that's pretty much the same storage method as every other optimus primal figure that i have so yeah no nothing changed there i'll pop those off for a moment right let's take a closer look at the figure and i think the overall excuse me the overall sculpt is fantastic he looks gorgeous that's definitely optimus primal so he's got some uh, nice red for the eyes. He's got a little bit of white uh, on his mouth plate and some silver here and here. So some nice paint apps just on his face. And they've got this chest piece and this is done in that same blue. That same blue that's on uh, the black Rorichi figure and Fast Track. I swear that is the exact same shade. I, I, got that upstairs now so but that looks like the exact same shade they must have had loads of this paint left over they just slapped it on everything uh, and then he's got some little red pieces just in here he's mostly molded in black and then painted over so he's got a he's got some gray here on his chest and some nice details on the midsection going down the legs like I say, this is a, a really nicely sculpted figure. It's quite well painted as well. There's the back. Now in the instructions, um, there is a stage that tells you to push this flap down. So, But mine came already pushed down. So I guess if you wanted to, you could leave it up like that. But I'm quite happy with just leaving mine down. Doesn't affect any of the articulation. That's the back of him and the back of his head. So, yes, yeah, some really nice sculpting. He does look really good. Right, so let's have a look at the articulation. Um, his articulation is generally good. So, his head is on a ball joint, so you can get some looking up poses, so that's quite good. He can't really look down, um, and there's no real side to side. His arm can rotate and mine's quite stiff in places so and he does actually have a little butterfly joint there which is quite nice 
it doesn't go up at the shoulder but it will go up underneath that piece there and like I say mine's quite stiff so so I can go out to that far I can't get it any further than that oh dear and he does have a bicep rotation he can go well over 90 degrees at that elbow and this is a better elbow than the original figures so that's an improvement um, he does have wrist rotation and his fingers open as well and that helps him hold his swords I mean you can just slide it in but the instructions say open his fists so but it yeah no, that works just take that out for the moment It'll get in the way he's got a waist rotation oh get out of the way arm his legs will move forward that far and if you move this butt plate out of the way it will go all the way back well not all the way to about there his knees are a bit iffy um it's due to transformation but you can move it at this joint which looks weird it's supposed to clip in but nothing really holds it doesn't doesn't like for mine I, it doesn't want to sort of clip in fully so it just sort of rests in there but it is meant to fold at that point there so you can get some pretty high uh, knee bends there um he doesn't really have much in the way of rotation here that's about as far as you can get and it's probably enough really and he does have a uh, very limited rotation on this joint here i'm not entirely sure why that joint is even there because the the rotation is minimal um his feet do go from side to side now you can move them up and down but this joint here this where this um let me bring this in a bit this actually clips in 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 this mode so if you want to use the articulation you have to unclip it i don't know if you heard that you see so you have to clip it up to there and then it'll go to about there um he does have some articulation on that foot but that is mainly for transformation but it's there if you, if you can find a use for it um so yeah that's about it for articulation he's not bad he's not the best but he's not bad so let me give him his weapons again so you get a good idea of how he looks with his weapons so, there we go yeah he looks he looks pretty good he's 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 decent he's a decent figure he looks really nice um an issue i have in this mode he's got a massive great gap going down his chest i really dislike that I'm not quite sure why they couldn't put something there to cover that up, but I don't know. Right, so let's have a look at him with some of my other primal figures. So I'll just pop him over there. So this is the masterpiece figure. I'll have to bring this out a bit because I'm going to get quite high in a minute. So there he is there. And obviously the masterpiece figure is um, much more highly detailed. Uh, here he is with the original Beast Wars Primal. So I mean pretty much anything is an improvement over that. And here he is with a slightly more show accurate um, face. And this is... Takara's Robot Heroes Burning Beast Convoy and um, if you've watched Beast Wars the second well the feature film you'll know what that's all about so that's what he looks like with with other primals so yeah he's he's, he's pretty good he's um I mean he's definitely an improvement over the original um slight improvement over the burning one and, um, well, the masterpiece is the masterpiece. You can't really do much in the way of comparison with that. So there is that. Now, I um, I do have a, uh, a slight bugbear with this because this is supposed to be a Voyager class figure. 
And, um, well, it ain't. It ain't, it ain't a Voyager class. So, here is Soundwave from Siege. He's a good bit shorter than Soundwave. So, I mean, I get it. I know that they're trying to go for, um, you know, sizes, um, scale properly now. So, in order for him to look decent against the leader class Megatron, I suppose they had to make him slightly smaller. But I do rather wish that instead of making us pay 24 quid for a figure that's just barely larger than a deluxe class, they would bring in a different price point. It's somewhere between the deluxe and the Voyager class where you could say, well, you know, this is a smaller figure than a Voyager, but it's larger than the deluxe. So instead of 24 quid, we're going to charge you 21. Fine. I'm all right with that. But this does feel a little bit like price gouging. Which bothers me slightly. Uh, there is one other thing that I need to show you before we go into transformation. Uh, he does have the original feature of the arm guns. Now there is a button underneath just here. And if you push that, the arm guns will pop out like so. And it's on a, it's on a rocker, so... You can move that around a bit and that's on both sides so you get one the other side as well and it's the exact same thing let's push it out from there pull it out there and uh, yeah there you go so he's got those as well right so i think that about covers robot mode so let us get ready and i will go through transformation with you right then first you want to just remove his weapons and they hold in there quite tightly, which is a relief, given how um, Sunstreaker and Run Amuck couldn't hold theirs. But um, anyway, so you want to pop these shoulder pads down and they do sort of clip in up here. So it will make a click. You want to do that on both sides. Straighten out the arms a bit. And then what you want to do is you need to unclip this backpack. And mine is really, really tight. So kind of got hold on to that front. The whole thing wants to come out. So there we go. And then you, this is on a slider, this piece here. So you want to pull that out. And then you want to flip these guns down. Just put those in that cavity there. Rotate the whole thing. And then move the head upwards like that and then there's another rotational joint just here and you want to just rotate that all the way around push the whole thing back down rotate this chest panel and then bring the whole thing forwards again and that will just slip back into there and you can just leave the head like that for the moment and for the lower body, you just need to rotate the waist. If you had that flap up, push it back down. And there is a small peg, and that will just fit in that hole there. No jokes, please, because yes, I can see how that looks. Uh, then you want to take this piece here, and it's just tabbed in here. Pop it out. Fold it, and it will rotate here, like so take the feet and you want to push this back up like i did just now and you want to push that all the way up and that will also click so you know that you've done it then you rotate the knees forwards and you want to rock them so they go like that and then the same the other side what you're doing is you're moving this joint here but you're moving it down here as well so you're moving two bits at the same time like so and then that will give you his leaning forward look pop that back panel down put everything in a position that you like and then that will give you his gorilla mode um and this is where this figure falls down and i think it falls down quite badly because i think this gorilla mode is blech. It's it's not terrible. It's not the worst one I've ever seen. 
But it's not brilliant either, sadly. Um, I mean, that piece there, that just carries on sticking upwards, so that doesn't look great. This doesn't really cover anything. I mean, you can, even if you move everything forward, it still doesn't really quite cover everything. It all sort of just kind of rests there, really. Um, if you move the head foot too far forward, you end up with this great big gap underneath. So you pretty much always have to look at it like that. Or, you know, if you're going to have it on your shelf, have it on a low shelf, because otherwise you're always going to see that. Um, I, it, it's just, it's a bit, it's a bit cack. It's just, it's a real shame because I was so excited it looks so good in a box and the robot mode is, you know, is pretty stellar. And to be fair, I am going to leave him in the robot mode. But the beast mode would have been nice if the beast mode was good as well. But it's just not. Um, let's have a look at him with a couple of others. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not as bad. It's not as bad as some of the others. Let me just put that hand down like so. So there's that. Come out a little ways. Let's move his head up a bit. So there's that. Um, that's the original. And I honestly think the original pulls it off better. Oh, I know, I know. Sacrilege, but it doesn't have a great big gap. Sorry, not gap. He doesn't have a, well, I mean, he has that bit sticking out, but you know, that's for the gimmick. But this one doesn't have a gimmick, so. This, this whole panel here covers up the rear legs better than that does. Um, I think it, looks, it just looks better. Um, the stance is better. I mean, even if you fold the head down a bit, I think the stance is still better on the original. Um, yes, they've improved the arms for sure, but it's... Uh, yeah, just I think they could have done a better job. Um, Here's the other one, the Burning Con Beast Convoy one, which is, that's pretty much on par. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not going to transform my Beast Wars Masterpiece Convoy Optimus Primal because I'm really terrified of chipping a paint, <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. But I mean, it's not going to compare really anyway. Um, so the other thing you can do, you can have him standing up so you can push his head back down like that um, and then you straighten the legs out again and this time what you want to do is you're going to you're gonna rock the legs backwards so this piece comes up like that I don't know if you saw that, let's get in a bit closer so it's backwards like oh like that oh mine's so stiff and then you can have him standing up um which i'll be honest is really not that much better because all oh, those knees that that looks weird that just looks really odd um yeah i i it's it's such a shame I'm I'm really kind of disappointed in this figure in the beast mode because it's... oh let's have a closer look anyway so we got him in this mode let's have a look at the face I think the face sculpt is actually really nice um, he does look like a a really grumpy gorilla so the, the sculpting again is gorgeous got some nice lines on his chest there and you know again the, the the sculpting for the fur I think is is really nice and then he's got his little toes would have been nice if they'd painted the nails but I mean it's not a huge issue really and then around the back just that bit there just um, the only way to get that straight is to like push that out but then it doesn't cover his bum so so yeah, it's a mixed bag for me, this one. Um, 
I like him. I do like him. I think his robot mode is great, but I'm, it's just, it's that beast mode. It's just a bit... You would think that after all this time, they could have done something a bit better than one step up, one step up from this. I mean, this um, this Legends one, this uh, sorry, not Legends, this Robot Heroes one. I think this came out in like two thousand one, two thousand two. So that's a twenty year old figure. And sculpting aside, there's not really that much in them, transformation wise, anyway. I don't know. I don't know. I just uh, I just feel like they could have done a better job. I'm going to bring Tigertron in again for a size comparison. I still think that size comparison actually is pretty good. And the gorilla shall ride a tiger. Yes, I know. Well, obviously, when we get Tigertron and Air Razor, everybody's going to be doing that. I thought I'd just beat you to the punch. <laughs> So, yeah, um, robot mode, 10 out of 10. Well, no, maybe not 10 out of 10. A couple of little issues, eight and a half out of 10. Um, beast mode, six, maybe. Um, this way is not too bad, but those knees, what were they thinking? There must have been a better way to do these knees. There must have been. Ah! But I think that's it. I think that's all I have to say about this figure. Um, do I recommend it? Mm. If you're a Beast Wars fan, then yeah, I think you have to have this in your collection. Um, if you're a casual collector, skip it. I don't think it's. Um, I don't think it's necessary to be honest. Um, it's. It's okay. It's it's okay in in beast mode. Robot mode's nice. Beast beast mode's a bit of a letdown, I think. But um, hopefully Hasbro will have made the other beasts better than this. I hope so because I've got more pre-orders, so I'm going to be pretty gutted if they turn up in their pants. But um, yeah, it, it's it's okay. It's an okay figure. So um, yeah. So I think that's all I have to say about this guy. Um, yeah, that, that's it. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. on plastic.